Hi, Mr. Singh. Good to see you. I wish it were under different circumstances. I do as well. Uh, good to see you as well. Um, we are all mourning a really big loss, not just for the New Democratic Movement, but for all Canadians in Ed Broadman, someone who was a working class hero and spent his whole life fighting for working people. And my condolences to you and all your colleagues in your party on the loss of, of Mr. Broadbent, Mr. Singh. How, you mentioned a little bit there, but specifically, how are you remembering him tonight? Well, I think about every time we'd be at an event together, and we were at a lot of events together, and I'd always look at him right in the crowd and say, uh, Ed Broadbent's in the crowd tonight, folks, and he's who I want to be when I grow up. And I would always get a chuckle out of Ed every time I said it, even though I used this joke many times, he would always be so generous and laugh heartily every time I did it. Uh, but I meant it because Ed is someone who dedicated his life to fighting for people. He was a member of parliament, leader of a party, and then came back uh, under Jack Leighton when Jack asked him to run, so ran again. And then when he retired, he didn't give up then. He then continued and started a progressive institute, the Broadband Institute, which continues to be a voice of working people. So he continues, even in retirement, he continued to give back. And as a leader, the eighth leader, he was the third leader, I would call him up and anytime I asked for anything, whether it was help, advice, if I wanted to campaign with him, he never said no. He was always there for me. We campaigned together in 2019 in Lansdowne Farmer's Market in Ottawa. He was with me at the uh, President Biden's speech in Parliament with my daughter, my wife and myself. We were there together. Uh, I remember sitting with him just a couple months ago at the Progress Summit dinner in Toronto. Uh, we've been together through lots, and I'm so lucky to have known him and to have been a friend, but also he was my mentor, and I am mourning the loss of him, and I send my condolences to the whole New Democrat family as well as his close family and friends. How would you characterize his impact as your mentor, mentor pardon me, on your own political career, your own political ambitions, the, the way that you lead your party? Well, he answered a question that a lot of New Democrats often struggle with, which is, can we stay true to our principles and still pursue power? He made it very clear. He was in the pursuit of power for people. He wanted to become the next prime minister when he was running so that he could make a difference in working people's lives. And so he made it very clear that that is exactly what we need to do. We need to do both, keep our principles and fight to have more power so that working people can get fairness, can get justice, can have a shot at building a good life. And that is something that he left as a legacy. He was very firm about that. And that's something that continues to be a part of his legacy. It's interesting that that's what you picked out because I was actually reading through his final resignation speech in the in the late 19, well, the resignation speech as leader in the late 1980s. And it was actually that part that jumped out, out at me. He said, a single-minded adherence to principle can be narcissistically self-indulgent, but to pursue only power is to deny our reason for being. What do you specifically take from that? Well, that we need to do both. And, that's, and he was very clear about that. We need to make sure that we have values and principles and that we are in a, a system that requires us to have power to make people's lives better. I think about when I talked to him and asked for his advice around the agreement. And he said, this is exactly why we became New Democrats. You're bringing in a national dental care program. That's what Tommy Douglas's vision was for our healthcare system to include dental care as well. So he told me uh, that he was proud of the work we're doing because New Democrats are here to make a difference in people's lives, not just to, to raise concerns, but to actually tangibly change the material conditions of working people. And that's something that he made very clear to me, and, and I'm proud that I was able to do some of that. He also spoke about that agreement in an interview with my friend and colleague Rosie last year, in which he kind of said something along the lines of, uh, it should be a bit shorter or a year shorter because uh, he was worried about your party taking, being able to, I should say, being able to take adequate credit for it. Did he ever convey anything like that to you? Was that part of the nature of your relationship and how did you take it? Yeah, he actually called me after that interview and said, hey, just so you know, you know, I, I really believe in this work and, and keep it going. <laughs> we just, I'm just worried about you getting credit. I'm like, oh, I know, Ed, I'm worried about that too. But <laughs> I'm more concerned about getting things done for people. And if we get credit or not, I know that we made a difference in people's lives, and that's the most important thing. He's like, yeah, but you also got to get that credit. I'm like, I know, I know, Ed, but, you know, this is going to be make a big difference in, in so many people's lives. He's like, you know, that's great, that's great. So he was, he was always thinking about not just uh, what was good for people, but what was also good for the party and good for the movement 
and he wanted to make sure that we were able to get some electoral success out of it as well. Uh, and I appreciate that about him. He was able to give me really frank advice and, and honest advice. And he was there for me so many times. What do you take going forward, I guess, for the party more largely beyond your own leadership as kind of, I guess, his, his legacy, his imprint? I think for so many Canadians, uh, they associate the NDP so closely with him and with his leadership. It surged, you know, for the first time, basically, under him to very, very high heights, as, relatively speaking, to, to prior to his leadership. What, what do you think the lasting legacy of him will be on the party? He was uh, honest. Uh, he was someone authentic. People called him Honest Ed because they, they trusted him. And they trusted New Democrats to be, with her, be there for them. And it's something we see to this day. Uh, when I walked with him, there were so many people that would come up and say, uh, this, uh, Ed, say, say to Ed, thank you for fighting for us. Thank you for being our voice. Thank you for, for being there for us. And so he left a legacy for our party, for our movement. And for me, I'm going to continue to fight in his footsteps to build that fairer Canada and to make sure that we are there for working people. Mr. Singh, I, I think Mr. Broadbent would expect it of me. I, I, uh, I appreciate you making the time for us to talk about his legacy and, and certainly we'll continue to reflect on it throughout the program.